hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to enable ssl for a domain name so in the previous videos we have successfully learned how we can install odoo in a remote server how we can configure a domain name for that odoo instance and how to set up nginx web server for that instance so all we have done and currently we can see we can access this website odoomates.tech which is an Odoo website and in the browser you can see it's showing not secure so if you click on not secure you can see your connection to this site is not secure because we haven't enabled HTTPS that is SSL currently only HTTP request will be working so if you copy this domain name and if you enter the new tab you can see only we have HTTP request so if you make HTTPS and if you click on enter you can see the site will not be accessible so how let's see how we can enable ssl or https request so for this what we will be doing is that we will be using a free certificate from let's encrypt so let's see how we can enable ssl for this website created using odoo so if i go to the terminal here i have already opened ssh to my remote server so what i'll do is that first of all we will be configuring the ssl or https using let's encrypt so if i open my google doc here i have entered few steps so first of all you have to install this python package python 3 cert boot engines so just run this command so i have already installed it in my instance so here you can see it's successfully installed so just run this command python 3 cert boot engines then what you have to do is that so it's done now you have to configure so we already have configured engines in our instance so if you haven't configured engines you can just check our previous video showing how to install and configure engines in your instance so if i navigate to cd etc engines ls then i will navigate to sites enabled ls here we have odoo.configuration file that is engines file so let me open that file with nano command sudo nano odoo conf and if i open so this is my engines configuration so here i have specified server name as my ip address so as we have a domain name i'll change this to domain name so here i'll put server name as odoomates.tech and put space ww odoomates.tech so i have just modified my server name to initially it was set as ip address so simply i have changed to odoomates.tech space www.odoomates.tech now you have to save this file control x y and enter so we have successfully modified the engines file now what we have to do if i come back to the blog now we can run sudo engines minus t to check and see everything is okay so i have run sudo engines minus t and you can see the result configuration file syntax is okay and test is successful so there is no issues with our engines file now what i have to do i have to reload my engines so because we have just made change so you can just restart you can stop and then start or you can reload so i have just reloaded the engine service now what i have to do i have to request for a certificate using cert boot so let me run this example so here i'll have already installed that package cert boot then what i'll do Control c i have to modify here also sudo cert boot engines minus t enter your server name that is odoomates.tech minus t www.odoomates.tech and if you click on enter another instance of cert boot is already running so here we have a message another instance of cert boot is already running so i think we already have configured uh, previously for this domain so that's why i think this message is coming so give me a minute let me pause this video 
hi welcome back i was just searching about that error message that we have received so it is because initially we have just run that search boot command with www.example.com and it get logged so just to solve that we have to just run this command which i have get from community.letencrypt.org so once i run that command everything is okay now i can rerun this command sudo search boot engines minus t odomates.tech minus t www.odomates.tech and click on enter so once you click on enter it will ask for the email so i'll provide the email address of odomates that is odomates at gmail.com i'll enter a agree yes obtaining a new certificate you can see waiting for verification so it may take a few time to complete the certification to generate a new certificate deploying certificate to virtual host so here you can see please choose whether or not to redirect so it's asking if an https request is coming whether you have to redirect to https or not so i'll put two so here i'll select two you can see important note congratulations your certificate and chain has been saved so it's generated so let me take a screenshot of this so simply have taken a screenshot so we have successfully done now let's see what happens if we try to access the website using https so you can see it's fine and running and you can see connection is secure initially it was showing not secure if i reach run you can see the lock sign has been up appear here connection is secure so if i copy these and here you can see https so if i even i try with http it will redirect to https you can see https so this is how we can enable https or ssl for our domain name so simply you have to follow these steps install this package update your engines file run this command to see everything is okay reload the engines and just run this script sudo cert boot engines minus t your domain name so if you have enabled firewall so currently in my instance i haven't enabled firewall so if you enable firewall you can run this command to enable this request so that's all for this video if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by joining the channel and taking a membership so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you